boys. What up, guys? This is Chivo Guides, back here again with another achievement guide. Today, we're going to be focusing on Who's Your Daddy. This game is published and developed by Evil Tortilla Games. It's currently in game preview. However, you can purchase it, and you can also play a two-hour free trial. The cool thing about that is you can't unlock all of the achievements in that two-hour free trial. This game is actually really fun, super hectic, and super random. I highly recommend trying it out. I'd even recommend purchasing it for $4.99, but if you want to get the achievements for free using that two-hour free trial, I don't blame you. Now, if you're using a video guide, I'd say this is probably going to take about 30 to 45 minutes, at the most maybe an hour, so that leaves you with at least about an hour of extra time. Just in case it takes you a little longer to get any of these achievements, you have up to two hours in the free trial to be able to get the full 1000G. Now we get an achievement after winning a game as the baby, winning a game as the dad, following the squeaks and finding the rat, freezing in the fridge as a baby, cooking yourself in the oven as a baby, drinking 50 gallons of bleach as the baby, drowning 25 times, catching the baby on fire, administering 25 pills to the baby, feeding 25 fruits to the baby, giving the baby daddy's drink while he's driving, there's actually a little trick to that. You can actually do that as the dad. Running a baby over with a lawnmower. Having five unique buffs at once. And then finally, an extra achievement they added. Using a plunger to unclog a toilet. Either way, if you want to purchase it or download the free trial, I'll have a link down in the description below for you guys. Aside from that, we're going to go ahead and press play offline. This will basically make it a lot easier to get a lot of the achievements. I want to give a quick heads up, some of these we're going to use a second controller, so to get all of these and use this guide, just know that you will need two controllers. Aside from that, you're going to end up at this screen right here, where you can either choose the side of the babies or the side of the daddies. What we're going to do is we're going to start off on the baby side, and we're just going to go ahead and start up. We're not going to adjust any rules or anything like that, we're going to get a few quick achievements right at the beginning. So this is going to put you into the game. You're going to start off as the baby. We're going to go ahead and jump out of the crib. Just know that you might spawn somewhere else in the house. It spawns you in a random room. Uh, personally, it spawned me in the bathroom. But just know you need to head over to the kitchen. The kitchen looks like this. All the houses are the same, so my house will look like your house. You just might get spawned in a different area of the house. So for this one, we're going to go for the achievement for cooking the baby in the oven. So as the baby, what you want to do is you want to walk up or I guess crawl up to the oven. You want to open the door and simply crawl in and close it. Your baby is going to turn red and eventually the game is going to end and your achievement is going to pop. But matter of fact, we're actually going to get two more achievements. We're going to get an achievement for winning a game as the baby because ultimately the goal if you're on the baby side is to cause a ruckus, to try to kill the babies. And if you're on the dad's side, the dad's job is to try to save the babies from, you know, uh, hurting themselves. It's basically dads versus babies. So you're going to unlock an achievement for winning your first game as a baby. You're going to unlock an achievement for catching a baby on fire. And you're also going to unlock the achievement for cooking the baby in the oven. Each of those are worth 25 gamer score, and the other two should pop after you get a game over. Aside from that, we're going to start up the game again. And for this next achievement, we're going to be heading to the kitchen once again. So regardless of where you spawn, just make sure that you head to the kitchen. This is not the kitchen door. This is the garage. It spawned me in the laundry room. So I want to go to the kitchen. Um, if you're in the laundry room, there's a door to the garage, and there's a door to the kitchen. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the kitchen and this time we're going to get the achievement for freezing the baby. So to do this, what you want to do is open the fridge and you want to climb up these shelves. And quick tip, you don't actually need to even get into the freezer. You can simply just crawl into the fridge. And once you're in the fridge, just close the door and you're going to start to see your heart meter on the upper left hand corner start to decrease. And once it reaches zero, you're going to unlock the achievement called Iced Iced Baby with 25 gamer score. This, of course, is for freezing your baby in the fridge. So we got both of those knocked out. We got the oven achievement, the refrigerator achievement. And next, what we want to do is go to the laundry room. So go back to this room right here. And from there, we're going to head into the door that I headed into last time. The garage looks just like this. You may even spawn in here. And from here, what we want to do is we want to keep an eye out for the rat. You're going to hear it squeaking, and eventually, we're going to try to catch the rat. You can go ahead and start to open cupboards. Just try to find the rat. It can really be anywhere. Just got to hear for the squeaks and follow the squeaks, just like the achievement says. And there's the rat right there. So 
walk up to the rat and press X to pick it up. There we go. After that, press right trigger to eat the rat, and you'll end up unlocking the achievement for following the squeaks. Of course, your baby's going to get sick after eating the rat. But there is the turn the rat into a snack achievement worth 50 gamer score. And at this point, guys, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and restart the game. So just go to quit, press yes. And once you get to this screen right here, what we want to do is we want to actually change the rules this time. First and foremost, go to map and make sure that you change the weather to sunny. Because if it's snowy, the pool will be ice. You won't be able to drown in the pool. Aside from that, you want to go to rules. You want to change time limit to 5. And the achievement that we're going to go for next is for having the baby drown 25 times. So change allow baby response to on and change baby wins required to 25. That will make it so that our baby can die 25 times in one game without having to actually restart the game. Aside from that, we can go ahead and start up our game. And as you guys can imagine, what we have to do is we basically have to take control of the baby, make sure you're on the baby team, and you want to head into the backyard. To do this, you want to crawl to the back door, press X to open up the back door, walk up to the gate on the pool, and open up the pool gate. After that, you're going to crawl into the pool, and eventually you're going to run out of air, and the baby will die. You want to rinse and repeat this process 25 times, after your baby has drowned 25 times, you'll unlock the achievement called Daddy Let Me Drown worth 25 gamer score for drowning as the baby 25 times. Alright, there we go. There's the achievement. That one's actually worth 100 gamer score. And so next, we're going to work on the achievement for having 5 buffs at the same time. To do this, you want to be playing as the baby, and we want to head over to the kitchen. So start up a new game or simply respawn as the baby and head over to the kitchen. Going to walk over here, open up the door, and we want to head towards the refrigerator. There's things that we can eat in the refrigerator that are going to activate buffs. Basically, you want to open up the fridge and you want to start pretty much eating everything. Let's start off with some soda. Go ahead and grab one of those. Go ahead and drink it. Next, we're going to grab a bottle of water. Drink one of those. And next, you want to climb up here, grab the milk, go ahead and drink the milk. And that's what went ahead and did it for me, was basically the combination of the soda, water, and milk. You're going to notice that your baby is going to inflate like a balloon and start pooping everywhere. And then eventually this is going to trigger another 100 gamer score achievement for having 5 buffs at once. Just know that the achievement isn't going to pop right away. It doesn't pop until after this episode of Severe Diarrhea. It's called the These Buffs Make Me Go Nuts achievement worth 100 gamer score. And then after that, we're going to be going for our next achievement. So just wait for this to be done. Or I guess maybe you could just press start and quit the game and start a new one. Because personally, my game ended up glitching out after that. So I went back to the main menu right here. And this time I decided to switch to the daddy's team. Now, once you switch to Team Daddy, you're going to be playing as the dads, and your goal is to save the baby. However, we have some achievements that are related to actually hurting the baby. So, as the dad, what you want to do is you want to head over into the kitchen, and we're going to head upstairs. Now, upstairs, there is an alcohol cabinet that has some bottles in it. These are called Daddy's Drinks in the game. So, open up the mini bar and grab one of Daddy's Drinks. After this, we're going to head outside because we have an achievement related to drinking daddy's drink while driving. And basically, the achievement kind of implies that you need to do this as the baby. However, you can do this as the dad. So what you want to do is go outside and start riding the baby's car. And while you're riding it, you want to start drinking the daddy's drink, the bottle. And this is going to unlock the achievement called Ride and Dirty, worth 50 gamer score for basically drinking and driving. And there we go, there's our achievement right there, again worth 50 gamer score. Now after this, we're going to head inside because we have another achievement that we can get as the dad. And that is basically the new achievement that they added to the game, taking it to 1025 gamer score. So this is an achievement that wasn't originally in the base 1000G, but I'm going to cover it in this video because as of right now, the game has a total of 1025 gamer score. Now what you want to do is head over to the bathroom and we want to just start shoving stuff in the toilet because ultimately our goal here is to clog the toilet. So grab the toilet paper, throw it inside of the toilet, grab anything else and flush it. If it doesn't clog it, continue to grab other stuff and just throw it in the toilet. Eventually as we throw different stuff in the toilet, it will eventually clog itself. 
if you flush it and it doesn't start overflowing, you need to add more stuff to the toilet. As you can see, I added two items and it didn't clog it. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw the hand soap in there, the mouthwash, maybe even this candle. Just throw it all in there. After that, try to flush it again and more than likely it's going to clog. So now that it's clogged, what you wanna do is grab the plunger and use the plunger on the toilet. There we go. After you unclog the toilet, you're going to unlock the Plumber's Apprentice achievement worth 25 gamer score for using a plunger to unclog a toilet. The reason they do this is because when you're playing as the babies, you can try to distract the dads by clogging the toilets. Because you know, when you're playing as the baby, you're just trying to cause a ruckus. Next, we're going to start up a new game and we're going to go to the rules and go to the items and you want to disable everything except for the fruits, the pills, and the bleach. Again, keep the fruits, keep the pills, and keep the bleach. That's all you want. This is going to spawn all the items in the house, only bleach, pills, and the different fruits. The reason that we do this is because we have an achievement related to drinking 25 gallons of bleach as the baby, giving 25 pills to the baby, and also feeding the baby 25 fruit. So after you adjust the items to only be bleach, pills, and fruit, go ahead and start up your game. And this is where I mentioned earlier, you wanna plug in a second controller. Now, whatever profile you're trying to get the achievements on, you want to be as player one, as the dad, and have the second controller as the baby. Now, before we start giving the baby any bleach, pills, or fruit, what we wanna do is focus on one more miscellaneous achievement, and that's for hitting the baby with the lawnmower. So to do this, you need to get the baby and first of all, take the baby outside and then take control of the dad and start using the lawnmower. And as you can imagine, you just need to run the baby over with the lawnmower and this is going to trigger a super easy achievement. This would be much harder if you didn't have a second controller plugged in. So we're gonna get it much faster being that we're using the second controller method. And that's exactly why I foreshadowed in the beginning of the video that you will need a second controller. So simply crawl outside with the baby and once you're outside, again, we can take control of the dad and just go around the house right here and you want to grab the lawnmower, start driving it and you're basically just gonna drive it over the baby for a quick and easy achievement. That one right there is going to be worth 50 gamer score. After that, we can go ahead and just start up another new game, again, controlling the dad and having our second controller as the baby. Now, if you set it up correctly, there should be bleach, pills, and fruit everywhere around the house. So if you open up any of the cabinets in the kitchen, it's either gonna be a piece of fruit, some bleach, or some pills. And the only achievements we have left, again, are for giving 25 of each of those items to the baby. So we need to give the baby 25 fruit, we need to give the baby 25 pills, and then also the baby needs to chug 25 gallons of bleach. So first and foremost, we're gonna do the fruit. So just look around the kitchen, grab fruit, and just continue to feed the fruit to the baby. After a little bit of a grind, eventually you will have fed the baby 25 pieces of fruit, and then you'll end up unlocking the achievement for doing so. I had my 25th fruit right there at the buzzard, right at the end of the game. That unlocked the fruit-based achievement worth 100 gamer score for feeding your baby 25 pieces of fruit. Not only that, but if you let the time expire, you're also going to unlock the achievement called I'm Your Daddy worth 50 gamer score for winning your first game as the dad. All right, and next we're going to work on the achievement for giving your baby pills 25 times. To do this, we're simply going to start up the game again, making sure that first player is controlling the dad and that the second controller is controlling the baby. After that, what you want to do is head over to the laundry room because the laundry room just has a ton of bleach in it. You're going to find bleach all over the shelves in the laundry room. And after grinding this out a lot, I ended up finding out it will not pop if you simply just give the baby pills over and over again. You have to actually heal the baby with the pills. To do this, you need to have the baby drink the bleach and then give the pills to the baby. So for player two, you have the baby drink the bleach, it's going to get sick, and then as the dad, player one, you want to give the pills to the baby. You're gonna do this 25 times and after you've healed your baby 25 times, you'll unlock the Dr. Daddy achievement worth 200 gamer score for administering 25 pills to a sick baby. After that, the only achievement that you should have left is for drinking 25 gallons of bleach as the baby. So what you need to do is start up a new game, but this time control the baby as player one, 
and just go into the laundry room again where there's a ton of bleach and just continue to drink the bleach and after you've drinking 25 gallons of bleach as the baby your final achievement should pop giving you the full 1000g out of full 1000g if you happen to run all out of bleach in the laundry room just go ahead and start up a new game go back to the laundry room and rinse and repeat but as you can see i got my final achievement called life's a bleach worth 200 gamer score give me the full 1000g plus that extra 25 gamer score and hopefully they continue to add achievements if they do i'll make sure to upload some guides for you guys as always i'd like to give a huge thank you to all of my patreon subscribers we just hit 16 patrons i'd like to give a special shout out to everybody in the biggest fan club including tim g84 aoj kegger 101 Connor 25 michael Bengsa, curse souls and gamertagnation.com as always i appreciate you guys tuning in if you enjoyed this video please leave a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe